you're taking drugs for acid reflux, you need to know about this. SIBO is small intestine bacterial overgrowth. It's the main cause of the pain and bowel problems that gets misdiagnosed as IBS. And it can be caused by proton pump inhibitors, but that's not necessarily a reason not to take them. Let's dive in. I'm not here to deny that acid reflux is a serious medical condition that needs to be treated, but I am going to say that the drugs that treat it can also cause serious problems. Multiple studies have shown how PPI medications like Prilosec, Nexium, and Provacid increase the risk of small intestine bacterial overgrowth. In fact, the FDA has even issued warnings about taking these medicines for longer than 14 days because of an increased risk of C. diff, which is itself a severe bacterial overgrowth, as well as low magnesium and fractures of the hip, wrist, and spine. But there is hope because science says that if you combine a medicine called a prokinetic with your PPI, your chances of developing SIBO start to go way down. This study showed that patients taking a prokinetic called levosilpiride at the same time as a PPI had almost seven times less of a chance of developing SIBO than the patients who didn't. Now, of course, levosilpiride and other prokinetics also have their own risks, including severe fatigue and heart problems. But there are plant medicines with better safety profiles that have very similar effects on gut motility, like ginger, which is one of the most commonly recommended herbs as a first-line defense against any kind of tummy trouble and has strong prokinetic activity. So let's be super safe here. Have you asked your doctor if you can try ginger for your tummy trouble yet, uh, especially if it got worse or changed after you started PPI medication? 